Okay, in today's Bohr model example, we are going to calculate the energy needed to ionize a hydrogen atom. And before we do that, please don't forget to come right down here into the lower right hand corner and subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. And this is the problem that we're going to be working on. For this video, we have a hydrogen energy level diagram. We want to know what wavelength photon would ha would be required for absorption by this hydrogen atom to ionize that hydrogen atom when it's already in its excited state of N2. So just to make it, I don't know, a teeny bit more interesting, we're not starting down here at the ground state, which is 13.6 electron volts. We're just saying we're starting here. We can ionize from here. We don't have to start at the ground state. So we have minus 3.4 electron volts, which means we need to add 3.4 electron volts, which means the photon needs to have an energy of 3.4 electron volts in order to ionize, which is to completely remove that electron from that hydrogen atom. So it has no energy relative to the hydrogen atom. Okay, so we're going to start with 3.4 electron volts. And as we did in the previous video, we're just going to do a simple conversion really now. We're just converting from electron volts to joules, to frequency, to energy, uh, energy, joules, frequency, all that kind of stuff down to wavelength in nanometers. Okay, now I'm going to kind of combine a few steps here, but I like to always just calculate and convert really the electron volts into joules. And we know one electron volt is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So our electron volts will cancel. We have one on the top and one on the bottom and we're left with joules. And that's the energy that corresponds to the energy in joules. That is the equivalent energy in electron volts because those are both units for energy is 5.44 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Now as I said, uh, we're now basically we're just gonna convert and we're going to use these two equations to convert to our wavelength or to determine the corresponding wavelength that has this energy. And this is the energy equation. Energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. And this is the whatever equation. This is the equation says we have the speed of light C is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. And we could calculate, of course, using this equation, the frequency first, and then... Um, and then uh, we, can, we can calculate the frequency using this equation first, I guess, and then get the wavelength. But I'm going to solve this equation for frequency. Okay, and so this equation, if I have, is C equals frequency times the wavelength. I have the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. And then I can substitute that in here, and I get the energy is equal to HC Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength, and I want to know the wavelength, so then I'm going to solve this equation for the wavelength, and uh, that would be Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by this energy. Please remember that the energy here has to be in joules. You can't just simply use this 3.4 electron volt. You first have to convert to joules, and now we just simply plug those values into that equation, and we get that speed the wavelength is equal to Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. And then it's 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we divide that by this energy, 5.44, times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And that will give us not actually 366 but when we do this officially, when we multiply these two values and divide by the energy, we get 3.656 times 10 to the minus 7th. Okay? And that's 3.66 times 10 to the minus 7th. But when we convert to nanometers, we multiply that times 1 times 10 to the 9th because, of course, there's a billion nanometers in a meter. This answer comes out, you can see the things that cancel here, comes out with meters, but we get that in nanometers, that's 366 nanometers, okay? So there you go. If you want to ionize hydrogen that's in its first excited state of N2, you have to shine a photon on it, photon on it, get it to absorb a photon of light that has 
a, a wavelength that's 366 nanometers. So thanks for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following four things. As I said before, subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You should uh, leave me a thumbs up for this video. Give me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care about them. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.